my name is Tara. This is Wild and Free Farms. Today we have you in our tiny kitchen because we got to do something with these strawberries. This is my daughter Temper. She's going to be helping us out today and I'm sure she's going to be interrupting a lot. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to be making some strawberry jam, which is her favorite. That's all she eats. And then my husband has requested banana bread with strawberries in it. My side of the island, that's no side of the island. Remember? Right, sorry. Okay, so we've already holed and washed these strawberries. Here we have two cups to go with the banana bread, and here we have eight cups for our jam. All right, so first step is to take your strawberries and put them into a very large pot. I use my Instapot. Oh, I forgot my. There you go. Okay, so we've got to get these strawberries mashed. If you like a real loose jam, then you want to mash these pretty fine. I like to leave it a little chunky. And we're going to let Temperance do this because she is getting on my nerves. Go ahead. Okay, she's not very good at this, so we're going to get the potato masher. like a real thick jelly then this is not the recipe to follow I prefer a more healthy jelly so this is low sugar no pectin you recipe. Steady you're not doing steady while strawberry does have natural pectin in it we're gonna be adding some apple to it today some grated apple go ahead and say that Apples and pectin tiny. <laughs> Apples and lemons have more pectin than normal fruit. Okay. Apples and lemons have more sweet. Apples and lemons have more pectin than normal and fruit. More pectin and more so you can either use so the zest of two lemons and the juice pectin. of one lemon, or you can use one large apple grated up. Because I don't have lemons today, I only have lemon juice, we're going to be using an apple. So we're going to be using an apple. Maybe Lucy, I'm not going to do it. Smash the ground, smash the ground, smash the ground. It's getting all over my face. Okay, so whenever you're making jam or jelly, you want to grab a spoon and put it in your freezer. This is a great way to see if your jam has set because it'll cool it quickly by putting a little bit of jam on top Hi. of that frozen spoon. And you can tell if it's ready. It smells like it's all done. It smells like it's all done. All right, we've got it to a good consistency here, so we're going to move on to our next step. Go ahead and turn your Instapot or your heating mechanism on. We're gonna go high so we can get this thing boiling. Now we do have to have a little bit of sugar in there because it is a jam after all. So to it, we're gonna add just three cups of sugar. One, two, and three. Next, we're gonna get to grating that apple. So we're going to add our grated apple yeah. to this. Two grated apple to this. And that's it y'all, just three ingredients. Eight cups strawberries, mm -hmm. three cups of sugar, and one medium apple grated. Or yeah. oh. the zest of two lemons oh. and juice and from one lemon. lemon. And juice from lemon. We're going to let this go on high until it comes to a rolling boil. And then we're going to turn it yeah. down to low and let it simmer for 20 minutes. Now let's move on to the banana bread. We're going to be making two batches today, one loaf, and then I'm going to be putting up four pints. Two, two, one, two, one. We're going to be making two batches of banana breads, one full loaf, and four pints to put in my cabinet for my husband to eat for late night snacking. So to this bowl, we've added four cups of flour, two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, Quit eating the sugar. And half a teaspoon of salt. I forgot to hit the record button, so that's why you didn't see it. 
watching. My dad. Because he's lazy. I'm not lazy. <laughs> I just forgot, okay? I'm forgetful. I think that's the word you were looking for. So the recipe calls for three bananas per batch that you make. We have seven bananas here, so I'm just going to go ahead and add all of them. Okay. You want to make sure that your bananas are super duper ripe, and these actually could have gone a little bit longer. The riper they are, the more sugary sweet they're going to be, and the better your bread is going to taste. Unfortunately, I have to switch over to voiceover for a few segments just because Temperance was chit-chatting in the background, especially when she got done and decided to go play. So you do want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I just keep my jars in there while it's preheating after I've washed them to get them nice and clean and sanitized. I'm going to get one cup of butter melted. I usually just put it in a bowl and pop it in my oven. Apparently I don't have any clean glass bowls, so we're just going to throw it in this mason jar. Okay. Oh, thanks. Mm. act all sweet because you know I'm getting irritated with you. <gasps> Why are you leaving that? You just realized that? Yeah! Oh my gosh. Butterflies and you were flowers. Yeah, you and we are the best. Hi, Chaplin. So, just in case anybody got lost with our little egg mishap, it is four eggs that we are using today, two for each loaf or batch that you're making. You want to take your jars out of the oven and give them a nice spray. Be liberal with this spray so your bread just slips right out. Okay, now we're going to add all of our wet ingredients into our dry ingredients. Make sure when you're filling your jars that you fill them either halfway or a little less than halfway because they do expand a lot in the oven and you don't want them overflowing because you still have to put your lids on. I'm going to get all of these in the ovens, take our jars out for our jam because I'm pretty sure it's ready. The jars are going to cook for about 20 minutes and the loaf is going to cook for about an hour. All right, back to our jelly here. It has gone off. It has been simmering for about 20 minutes, a little bit longer than that because we got distracted with our bread. We're gonna take our spoon out of the freezer and give it a little dip. Just drip a little bit of this jam on there, kind of move it around so it gets nice and cold. And you can see, it's still running a little bit fast. Tastes good though. So we are going to let it simmer for probably another 5 or 10 minutes. You know your jam is ready when it slowly slides off the spoon like you see here. I did 5 half pints and 1 full pint of jelly today. Make sure your jars are washed and sanitized as well as your caps and your rings. These are Harvest Guard lids. I did have one knot seal. I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of these lids. I just reboiled it. If you do more than one reboil of your jelly or jam, it's gonna ruin the consistency a little bit. So only do that one time. And if it still doesn't seal, just throw it in the fridge. To be used ASAP. These are gonna be water bath for 10 minutes. 
All right, so our timer for our bread hasn't quite gone off yet, but I just picked up the bread in the jars and they are done. So we're gonna get them out and cap them right away. You wanna put these lids on, you wanna put these lids on when these jars are extremely hot. That way they'll seal. I'm not sure if this is the approved method of canning bread, if they even approve canning bread, but this bread never lasts us very long. My husband will have all of these jars eaten like within a week. I always do two batches when I'm making banana bread because it stays so moist in the jars and my husband just loves it. I like to have a little snack for him whenever he gets hungry at night, which is pretty much every night. It doesn't cost me any extra time and I get wife of the year. All right, the bread took exactly one hour. I left it in the oven for a little bit longer because we got distracted with chicks. I'm gonna grab temperance and we're gonna try some. A goodbye, friends. Bye bye. Have a great day. Have some fun. Mmm. So see, this is pretty good. It almost tastes like a strawberry pancake. All right, friends, thanks for hanging out with us while we made some banana bread with strawberry twist and some strawberry jam. You can check out both these recipes on my blog at wildandfreefarms.com. That's wild, the letter N, freefarms.com. See you next time.